Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. Our next guest, George Wood, he's on a mission to help people see addiction and recovery in a whole new light. Now, George himself is a former addict and a suicide survivor, and he has dedicated his life into helping others that are struggling with addiction, mental health problems, and of course, suicidal thoughts. George joins us right now from Tampa. We appreciate you joining the show. And uh, George, what, what's the most important thing you really want to tell people about addiction and recovery? Uh, I think the most important thing for people to know is that when you look at addiction and recovery, we need to find connection with one another. That is the thing that we're we're all seeking to find in our addictive behaviors is a connection with each other. Uh -huh. And if we can make that connection, we can begin to see people healed. And the other thing would be that recovery is really for all of us. Everyone is in recovery from something. And so the more we can see that, the more we can stop labeling people and putting them into silos where they feel um, disconnected. All right, I'm glad you said that because we talked about uh, labels and we talked about recovery. Um, you know, there's two, I've kind of heard two school of thoughts here. You know, we introduced you as a former addict, but would you say you're still an addict you just don't use? Is that part of, uh, you know, the relapse and recovery and that sort of thing? That's a really complicated question that takes a lot more time than we have here today. I don't consider myself a an addict, I, but I never did. An, an addict is a, that's something that you do. Okay. I'm a human being. I'm a, I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a man, a husband, a pastor. I'm a leader. I'm all these other things. I have addictive behaviors and some of them when unchecked are very harmful and I need to constantly live a life there. I'm diligently keeping myself from those behaviors, but I'm not an addict per se. Okay, no, that makes sense what you're saying. I totally appreciate what, 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 how you described that. You know, it, it kind of laid it out what I was asking. Uh, let's talk about relapse. Is it part of recovery? Absolutely. Explain um, that because people don't understand. It's like, what do you mean you're using again if you had a relapse? How is that re helping you recover? Because when we look at a relapse as something that can be um, eye-opening to understanding behaviors about us that are still broken or struggling, we can use it as something that we can build upon, that we can become better, that we can get, become more of the person we were created to be. Yeah. Almost everyone in addiction or mental health struggles will relapse at some point. And so when we can look at that as a positive, as something we can build off of, then it's no longer something to find shame in, which when that shame happens, we we become totally lost. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine too, people when you go to the relapse, they get those feelings back again and it can remind them, like, I don't want to feel that feeling ever again. So I can totally appreciate that. You say there's a difference between sobriety and transformation. Tell us that uh, what those differences are. Often when people are talking about sobriety, what they're talking about is abstinence. Abstinence is simply stopping a behavior. It's, pre it's preventing yourself from doing something. It's part of the process. But sobriety, when you look at it simply through the lens of abstinence, you don't see people live fulfilled lives. Transformation, on the other hand, is about transforming yourself through the abstinence at times, but it's really transforming your whole entire life until you become someone that didn't need or doesn't need to do those behaviors anymore. So it's transforming the entire person as opposed to being a person who just doesn't use anymore. I got you. Yeah, we th needing that there's a need that they're looking for and they don't need, have to look for that anymore because they found what they needed. All right, name in your book, it's called The Uncovery, which I'm going to ask you about the name in a second. You say that Recovering is basically like the civil rights movement of our generation. You got to explain that to me. Yeah, absolutely. When we look at the actual civil rights movement, it was about people that were left on the margins, people that weren't understood, people that were left in unfair situations. Sure. When we look at recovery as the civil rights movement, Trust me, as somebody that is in recovery, we are often misunderstood. We are labeled. We are pushed to the margins of society. We are having. We have opportunities taken away from us. If you're a person that's been in addiction and you go into a recovery place for six months, good luck trying to find a job. Yeah. So now you're labeled with that. You can either choose to lie on job applications because people don't want to hear that. That you know, yeah, sure, great for you. You did the struggle and done well, but I don't. Need Need you working for me. And so it's a lot of the same things that kept people persecuted in the civil rights movement. It's the same thing that happened
happens to those of us that are in recovery today, and it needs to change. And the name, Uncovery, what does that uh, represent? What does that mean? Well, when typically when you think of recovery, it's about recovering who a person once was before their addiction, before their mental health issues took over their lives. That person was never enough to keep them in the first place. Right. Uncovery is about uncovering who you truly were meant to be, authentically becoming the person that God created you to be in the very beginning of time. So it's uncovering an identity that you've probably never even seen or touched, yeah. but has always been there within you, just waiting to be uh, uncovered, to be dug up and to be lived into, which is different than just trying to recover something that you already were. Makes complete sense there, the way you lay it out there, getting rid and ra just basically ripping off those labels altogether. Thank Absolutely. you so much for joining. And of course, you want more information, you can go and check out the Uncovery book.com. That is the name of the website. George Wood, thank you so much for joining us.